by unorthodox means is controlled by the Kinyakwanza regime. The speaker and members who have crossed the floor unceremoniously. Why would we go in to the territory of the person we have disputes with? So we are talking of a process in neutral grounds. Parliamentarians negotiating neutral grounds and behind them will be the two sides. The Azimio side and the Kinyakwanza side. So let's not try to hide behind Parliament. Where the Speaker can come and tell you that if you have a dispute, he will now chair and determine which side has won. <laughs> we have seen the Speaker being unable to make simple rulings, including when the party wants to give whip. Is that the environment to negotiate? Oh. That's all that we mean. So anybody talking of Nusu Mukate, on a lighter note, you must tell them, in Azimio we eat whole loaves. Yeah. <laughs> and that is why we are saying, open the Saba. Ukifungua Saba, itaonyesha mkate ni anani. Mwenyewe ya kule peke yake. Kama ni yako kula, lakini tukikuta ni yetu. Apadhali. Tunachukua mkate yetu. Now, why again are we talking about the Saba? To us, it is very important, and our leader has already pointed out, the problems our people are having are a priority. Yes. Cost of living, and I don't have to go to it, it has been covered. But why the Saba? The Saba is also about the people. What is the use of going to elections if we can never know the truth about how people voted? We were here in 2007, 2009, 2008. We were here in 2013. We were here in 2017. Now we are talking of 2022, four elections. Why do we never get to the bottom of the matter? Because we sweep the dirt under the carpet. This time round, no dirt under the carpet. Let us open the server and discover the truth. Reforms will be meaningless. Any reforms of the electoral system or IBC will be meaningless without first arriving at the truth. The Saba is about the people. It's about the people's voice. Those who think Saba is about power, yes, but power of the people. It is their voice that has been disregarded. So our demands are people-centered, starting with the very immediate about cost of living and then about their voice. And remember in the, our constitution, People are, the sovereignty belongs to the people. If their voice is disregarded, their sovereignty is being trampled upon. I just thought we needed to make those very little points, but very important, very, very clear. And I know somebody on the other side knows it, but they would like to hide behind such phrases of, oh, you want to know soup. Now tell them we eat whole loaves. We don't just have. Now, um